speed you'd have to travel to escape its gravitational pull, it's called the escape velocity, would exceed the speed of light. So even light rays emitted from the surface, if you could squash it down that far, would just stay there. That is a black hole, a spot so massive, with gravity so strong that not even light can escape. At first, black holes were just a mathematical quirk, a weird solution to equations that seemed to otherwise fit our universe. They were only theoretical, but then, we started to find them. Over decades, scientists measured the movement of stars and galaxies and gases that were warped by seemingly empty patches of space, left behind, we now know, by the collapsing death of stars much larger than our sun. We discovered that black holes are real. We can now tell they're all over our universe. Some estimates say there are up to 40 quintillion of them. And almost every galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center, including our own Milky Way. Let's go. Let's imagine that we choose the black hole at the center of our own galaxy. Yeah. Sagittarius A star, I think it's called. I know that we took this picture of it. What are we looking at here? So here, the, the light, you might say, what is the light in this picture? So it's not from the black hole, because we've just said black holes trap light. It's from what's called the accretion disk. This is another way that scientists have found black holes, by spotting their glowing accretion disks. So you're to imagine really material spiraling around in orbit, around this very dense object, um, and very violently orbiting. And so it heats up and it emits light. Wait, so then why in this photo do we not see the accretion disk across the middle?